Okay, so last time we got to the point where we we're actually ready to test signing in with users in our app. So now I'm going to write the code for that and we're going to test it. So I'm going to close this Firebase. Actually, I'll leave the Firebase Assistant open because we're going to need that. But first of all, let's uh, let's create, we got to declare all of our widgets and do all that stuff first. So uh, we are going to still need that Firebase stuff from here though. So let's go and grab this Firebase stuff here from the top. We are going to need those. And then below that, we can create all of our widgets for this activity. So let's get the context, we'll go M context, and we have a progress bar. So progress bar and progress bar. And we have edit text for the email and also one for the password. And then we have a text view for our um, progress bar. So uh, I guess I can just call it please wait because that's all it says. And let me give a little more space down here. Okay, so right when the activity starts, first of all, I wanna make sure that that progress bar is invisible. So I can go uh, pro progress bar, set visibility. Oh no, I need to actually get the widget first, but there we go. So I can go, let's go above the log, whoops, above the log, and progress bar equals progress bar, find you by ID, r dot id dot, progress bar, I think it's, uh, I think I just call it progress bar. And let's go with the please wait, text view, find you by ID, r dot id dot. I have no idea what I named that, so let's just go into layout and activity login, it's at the very bottom. This doesn't have an ID, so let's go ID, 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 Please wait. Pretty obvious what it is then. And then get that in there. And for some reason that's not showing up. ID, ID, please wait. Okay, I'm gonna try rebuilding this. That ID should come through after I rebuild it. Still not coming through, interesting. There, it's there now. Okay, now the email, so M email equals edit text. Find you ID, r to ID dot input email, and then the password is edit text, find you by ID, r to ID dot input uh, password. And we can do the context, context, don't need an ID, that's just going to be uh, login activity dot this, and what else do we got? I think that's it. And we want to set the text to be invisible also. So let's go, please wait, set visibility, view dot gone. Cool, so there's all of our kind of starting stuff we needed to do. And now we're gonna go into home activity and we're gonna copy and paste a whole bunch of the same things. Because we need basically all the same Firebase stuff. So let's just copy all this Firebase stuff here and go down to the bottom, paste that in. That's all cool and on start, I actually want to, let's go actually into home activity and we want to check current user. We can go Firebase user dot, oh, I can't just declare it. I gotta go Firebase user, user equals m auth dot get current user. And then that's, oh, I guess I could actually do that. There we go. Just so it'll, if, for whatever reason, if we start this activity, it will always check the user, and that should be okay. And we don't need check current user, so we can get rid of check current user and get rid of it there. All this other stuff should stay the same, so that's all good. And let's put our setup, uh, setup Firebase off there. And now we're going to create a new method, uh, private void init, and this is what's going to actually handle the login. So the very first thing we need to do is initialize the button for actually logging in. So initialize the button for logging in. Button, button login equals button find you by ID, r to ID dot button login. And then button login, set on click listener, new on click listener. And we can just log, uh, attempting to log in. And let's see, we're gonna need the email and the password. So string email equals email get text to string. 
and string password equals m oops m password get text to string before we actually try to log in we definitely want to check if the fields were null because if they pass the null fields to the login it'll probably crash the app so that's something we definitely want to check maybe i'll just make a, a little method here let's just go up here private uh, boolean the is null is string null and we can just pass a string in here so string string and checking string if null if string dot equals that then we're going to return true meaning it is null otherwise return false all right so we'll go into here and we go if is string null email so basically we're looking for if it's false so if it's false that means it's not null and we also want to check the password so and is string null password then we can proceed actually let's let's do um let's check if they are null and if they are null then i'm going to print a toast so toast dot make text context you must fill out all the fields and then do length short for the toast length and then dot show and then else that means that everything's good and we want to actually try and log in and the first thing we want to do before we try and log in is set the visibility for the progress bar so you dot visible and uh, text so please wait set visibility view dot visible so as soon as we try and log in those things are going to be visible then we we can write uh, a login attempt so to do that you can use the firebase tool just go to tools firebase go to authentication email and password authentication if you scroll down you can see sign up new users and you can also see sign in existing users so we can just grab this method for signing in existing users and paste that in there and then get everything that you need here okay and this is a toast for if it fails all right, so this, yeah, we passed the email, we passed the password. So on complete, it's gonna say the task is successful. And then if task is successful, or if it's not successful, then it'll say email failed and print out a toast. If it is successful, um, we can print out a message. We don't really need to, but because this is gonna change, this will, if it's signed in, this state will change, but we can also print out a toast if we want to. Let's go grab this toast here. context and we can we can actually write this auth failed string so let's uh, let's get that in there and let's create this string so let's go into values and go into strings and we'll create a new string so we'll go firebase uh, messages and let's copy this string here and copy that auth failed again go here and just go fail to authenticate and we can do an auth success so auth success um i guess authentication success and so that should be showing up I can do get string on that. And I'm not sure why that's actually not showing up. For some reason, I seem to be having to rebuild my project a lot. I'm not really sure why, but uh, like I, I gotta rebuild this again for some reason. So let's copy that again and put this here. And if I rebuild, it should be fine. I'm not sure why I keep having to rebuild. Holy, look at all that red. What is going on here? That is weird. Maybe did I declare the context up here? Context login activity dot this. Yeah, that shouldn't matter. Login activity dot this. Maybe also this has to be login activity dot this. That's what I'm guessing anyway. Um, actually, I probably could have just done context. Nope, didn't like that. So 
So logging activity got this, I guess, and that error went away. Okay, so let's try that again here. See if we get any errors. Okay, so that time it was actually successful. All right, so this is, we could test it right now, but I just wanna finish up a few things. So if, if it, the login is actually successful, we want to um, get rid of these this text in this progress bar. So let's post those down there and we gotta make them gone. And I wanna actually log the fact that it was successful also. So I'm gonna go log W. Now I want to sign in with email right here. And I wanna type, successful login. Actually, I don't want to log W. Let's do a log D. I'm going to cut that. Log D. Successful login. Get rid of this on complete. And that's all I want to show. And we want to also get rid of the progress bars if the login fails. So we're going to put those there. And that should be good. So let's, uh, let's run it and let's actually test the login. Okay, so it takes us to the login screen, progress bar is gone, text is gone, that's good. Let's open up the log so we can watch the log as we run this. Uh, so the only user we have is Mitch at Tavian.ca and his password is password. And so what we do is we press login and we expect it to be successful. So let's press login and I actually got nothing. Let me see, I didn't get anything. I didn't get attempting to log in, I didn't get anything. Let me see here. Yeah, nothing. So that says to me, I probably have the wrong ID here. So let's go into activity login and let's go to the login button. And yeah, the ID is button login. So that should be fine. Oh, because I didn't call the init method in on create. All right, uh, that will do it. So now that we have this init method in here, it should be all good. So uh, let's run it and see what we get. Okay, so uh, looks like everything started all right. Now let's do Mitch at Tavian.ca and type password, hit login. We get the progress dialog popping up, which is great. It's saying, please wait. Uh, we get attempting to log in, checking if the string is null. Um, let me see here. We, I have a couple errors here but I don't know if that's affecting it, but it's definitely not logging in. Okay, so I just did a little bit of research and because I couldn't figure out what was causing that error down there. And uh, I guess first things first, I wanna change this to uh, auth success because that was auth failed. But uh, next, so apparently the, because the, there's new versions for Firebase, like the version that we're using is pretty much a brand new version and uh, it doesn't work with old Android version, so it wasn't working properly on my emulator. So I plugged in my actual device. This is my actual device here, my OnePlus, and I ran it on my OnePlus and it worked fine. Well, I'm actually going to test it on my device now. And it takes us to the login screen. Let's open up the Android monitor here and go Mitch at tvn.ca because that's our only user. And there's the password and then press login. We get that login screen authentication success. So if we look here, we can see that it prints out the user ID. Um, we have we have a message here saying user signed in. That's going to be uh, from the off state change listener right here. So on off state change listener, it says signed in. And what else do we got? We have signed in with email saying on complete true. Signed with email successful login, which is this guy, this log message right here. And now we are actually successfully logged in. So we, it didn't actually navigate to another screen because we didn't write code for that, but we are actually successfully logged in and authenticated with our user. So now we can use the Firebase instance to get the currently logged in user and we can use it to kind of control the navigation of our app. So in the next one, I'll set up the part where, so if we log in successfully, it will actually take us to the home activity. And then after that, we'll get started on building the registration screen. So I'll see you guys in that next video.